and welcome to the next R2D2 video and I just want to say at the top of this video the video after this one is going to be next Wednesday guys so put a mark in your diary next Wednesday is when we're going to look at issue 84 and 85 we're looking at issue 82 and 83 this time and there is loads to get on with we have compartments we have sensors we have hinges we have blue parts white parts gray parts interior parts external parts and that's only in 82. Um, also in 82 we get a load of screws some really small ones I don't know when they're going to be used I haven't really mentioned screws since I came back uh, it's a it's a uh, it's an effort on my part because I moaned so much about them before I took that little gap but I it is laziness on um, Diagostini's side to not provide the screws that you need for the issues but just make sure that you are keeping them in your container all separate um, I know that I've gone wrong somewhere along the line because this one uses a lot of 2.36 millimeter screws which are these and I've only have three and I've got all these flanged ones which are the same size I think there's like a 0.3 millimeter difference so I will be using flange screws instead of the proper screws I don't think it really matters. I did an experiment and it still holds together quite well. So just be wary of that. So enough waffling. Let's get started by looking at this part here, which is an internal part. As you can tell, got some nice detailing here. Once again, I'm not going to weather or add any additions to the interiors. I want my R2-D2 pristine. Over time, he will fade and wither. Um, and I don't really want to push that. Uh, on this interior part, it needs a door, which is this part here. So you see, we've got the door that will eventually cover this little compartment. And to attach that together, we need this hinge. So this hinge is what we're going to be looking at first. This hinge fits in there like that. And to do that, you need one of these longer screws. Uh, where's my screwdriver? No, it's not. Here we go. Right. Take one of these longer screws out. Ooh, three of them and we will just attach the hinge here uh, is there a specific way this hinge needs to go oh because it's exactly the same either side so let's position everything up and screw this down oh actually it's going in quite easily good first time look at that as you know i've been having some problems screwing in the plastic parts but no that went in perfectly look at that Brilliant. Brilliant, that is. Just make sure I use the right screw. I have. I'm just looking at the instructions. Yes, I have. It's all fine. Good. Great. And that will have a little hinge mechanism there. Fantastic. Now, if you see inside this interior part, we have the connector. So we just need to make sure that that goes in there. There we go. That's what it'll look like. Um, so this part we need to screw down. And... I'll just line this all up and then I'll get a screw and screw it down. There we go, that is all screwed down and it just opens up there like that. So it is a little loose, but I'm sure it won't be when it's attached to the main body. I'm sure it'll connect a little better. But yeah, so that is that little interior part all done there. I did tighten up that hinge as much as possible. Is yours a little loose or is yours tighter than mine? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested to find out. Okay, with that part done, let's move on to the second compartment door, which is what you see here. Uh, you also need these kind of hinges. We've seen these before. And one will go there like that. And the other will go at the top there like that. And when they're all done, they will push into these two holes here and create a door for this next interior part which is again exactly the same silver paint all these nice molded details so i'm just going to go ahead and screw all of this down together for you now and when it's all attached it will look like this and open like this so you've got this slight opening door just to see the interior silverwork there and then if you push it it does close it's got a nice little bit and then it goes like that it kind of takes it right near the end there so it does snap shut which is really nice and something that i wish this one did more of because this one is 
very loose, as I said before. Okay, so moving on to uh, the next part of um, the front part of R2-D2, and it's the stuff that is going to go in this section here. So the parts you'll need to complete this front section part are this piece here, these great parts here. Now, these parts are going to look slightly different to the parts that you have. I'll explain why in just a moment, but you need these two sensors and this part here. Now, the reason that this part for me is black, but for you is silver, is because if you look at the photos for this part, these sensors will peek through the grating, as I'll show in just a moment. But the sensors are really super obvious. They come, you know, you can see them really, really clearly because you've got the grey um, uh, grating with the grey background. So what I have gone ahead and done is paint the sensors black. So the rim of the sensors is now black. The uh, hole that you put the sensors through, all of this is black. And on the grating, I have painted them black there, but left the grating silver, obviously, because, you know, you want that to be silver. But I've got a bit of black paint just there. But I think that this will work better. I think the sensors will be more hidden because they are more black than silver. So um, we'll put it together and we'll have a look and we'll see whether that is right. So moving these parts aside, let's focus on this blue part, which is untouched. It is unpainted and you need to have it so that these screw lugs here are pointing downwards, not pointing upwards like that. You need them pointing downwards. And you may be forgiven that these two are exactly the same, but they're not. As you can see, there's more of the black on this side, uh, on this one, than there is on this one. So the one with the most black or the most silver backing will go at the bottom there like that. And then this one will go, whoops, will drop down. And then when you pick it up, it'll go on the top there like that. So that is how you should do it. And you screw them in with these four holes there using four screws. <laughs> And when it's all done, it will look like this, nice and secure, looking very good. They're not popping out anytime soon. Okay, moving that aside for now, and we'll get back this black slash originally silver part. Um, and this is the part that's going to hold these two sensors here. Now, I just thought I might have painted. No, I haven't painted over. Good. There's, um, these sensors are different. You've got one that has the R on the back there, which you can see, R. And you've got the one that has T written on the back there. So we'll start off with this one, the one marked T, and we get this part, so it's facing this way around with this pointy part there, and this is where we push the T sensor in. We'll just push it in there, so it sits at a slight angle in there, like that. That's for T, and you do the exact same for the S. Put the S in there like that. Ah, they do actually push in. So you just got to give them a little force, a little bit of force, and they push in there like that. Looking very cool indeed. Okay, so if we bring this part back here, this is the moment that um, we see whether the black paint does make a difference. You see there's a little tab just there and a hole just there. Align those up and make sure it is all aligned up properly. Why isn't that coming in? Hmm. I can't seem to push this as far down. Oh, you really, okay, you really have to push in these sensors. You really, really do. So make sure that they do fit in there. And with them all pushed in, let's just have a look. Yeah, I think that they are way more hidden I think from a distance, um, yeah, I like that a lot more, a lot, lot more. Great. Okay, so that black paint works. So let's just screw this in just to seal it all up. Remember, it's at a slight angle. Oh, that is not wanting to go in. Ah. 
Let me just do this off camera, be right back. There we go, nice and secure. Yeah, you can see there that that black does hide the sense as well. Um, especially when you look at it from the top, which you will, because it's quite a small droid. They are slightly obvious, but nowhere near as obvious. So I think painting them black is a good idea and it ma makes the silver slats stand out more as well. So with that part all done, it is now time to test it. Now to test it, we need to bring back all of the testing equipment, which we have used previously. Uh, so we've got the testing board that we use for the lights. We use this for the leg motors to make sure they work. And of course the battery box, bring back this part. Now, um, oh crikey, I can't remember. So R is receiver and T is transmitter, but I can't remember which way around. It is, that's silly. T is at the bottom, right? So the transmitter cable, which is this one at the bottom, transmitter goes into this plug there. Just like that, let me zoom in. So I plug them in. Transmitter into that one and receiver into this one. And this is to test, I believe, the functionality of R2-D2 is if he comes across an object, he will stop and maybe turn with the motors. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that is what we're testing. So make sure that the battery pack is on. And you can tell it is because the red light there. If everything works properly, then a yellow light should activate when I face, when I push this towards a flat surface. And it doesn't is a bit worrying okay let me just double check this okay i have problem solved it um i'll give you five seconds to write in the comments down below with the timestamp oh no forget it i'll just tell you um i put this cable in there and this cable in there i got the cables the one go around so the one with the blue goes in this one and the one with the red goes in this one that is a mistake i made so when i turn this on now more lights will light up see that you certainly saw the blue there really but there was a, a yellow one in the middle now if i bring a book which is meant to represent a wall or surface that r2d2 will walk into this will happen you see that blue light light up uh, not blue light yellow light you can't really let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see the lights so just to show you what i've done turn the battery off on all the lights light up like that so it is on because of the red light there. Bring the wall down. You see that yellow light shows that the sensors are working. We can't see it because of the book, but yeah. So my R2-D2 isn't going to walk into any surface. So that is good to know. So let me just safely put away all these circuit boards. Actually, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put away all these circuit boards. I'm going to put away my Stingray book as well. There we go. And then I'm going to attach the sensor blue part, this door here, this door here, onto R2-D2's body here. So I'm just going to attach all this off camera and it will look like this when it's all done. Look at that. Absolutely loving the front of R2-D2 and of course the doors close up there. Looking great. The sensors are hidden. They're more hidden because of the black, which I love. And just again to open those doors. Very easy like that really like the internal silver working there a little minimalistic you know uh, but remember we have got the probes coming off this side as well um, and i don't think i, I personally would be opening these doors loads um, yeah which is a shame because that one just is so loose this one shuts fine but yeah it's the front of r2d2 i mean how can you not love it i believe that these parts are going to be blue and they're going to open up as well we'll have a look at that another time but that isn't the end for the video today oh no because we have to put the finishing part to this ring this is the ring that we started last time i believe it was last time more than the time before and here it is this is the finished uh, the next part bf06 you see it's just on there like that have the writing face up and it will just clip on there like that and you attach it with that little bracket there and that little bracket there, which I'm just going to go do now. And here we have this ring all done. Um, yeah, it's just another ring for the dome, but this is quite an important ring because also in 83, we get these two wires here and these two circuit parts here 
which leads me to believe that this goes into the motors of how R2-D2's head moves, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. We know we've got under 20 issues left. It's about time we're starting to get stuff like this. And we really are. So what I am doing is I am just making sure that um, that's in the right way around. I'm just putting these wires into these little circuit board parts. They're exactly the same wire um, and exactly the same circuit board part. So it doesn't matter which way, uh, which wire goes into which circuit board part. They just go in there like that. And then they are attached to these two brackets. No, they are both called BF09, so they are exactly the same. And the way that these attach, I believe, is, if I can get this right, they just slot. I'm just checking the instructions. Okay, yeah, no. So they just go, or go on there like that. And then you actually screw them in there like that. I'll just show you on the one. So we have this one there. There's only holes on one side of these, just there, so you know which way around. That goes, and you just screw it, line it up, and screw it into the hole like that. Did that very loosely, but you can see where that's going. Let me just top off the other side and just show you what it looked like when it's all done. So just going loosely, just put that in for now. There we go. So they will look like that when it's all done. I'm going to do the same for that one and then I'll be right back with you. And here they are all done. So we have one that says L here and the other one that says R there. The reason that I whisked these off screen is because of, because of the nature of the green circuit board parts. I want to make sure I got it right. So that is why. But yeah, that is what these parts look like. Um, if we bring back the ring now, we're just going to attach them onto this part of the ring. This is the part that we got in issue 60, uh, 6383. So uh, the left one will clip onto the left hand side here like that. And the right one will go on here. So you place them, you place this part into that little gap there, the black part, and they see the screw holes align there. And you just screw that in. And you do the same with the left one. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> when it's all attached it will look like this there we go looking good and again i took that off camera because of this these green parts i don't want to get them damaged before we've even begun moving the head very very exciting there's just one final thing left to do and that is to get this part here now this is a nice rubbery part protective for of something uh, which is pretty cool and that just slips over there like that and then it is screwed down with one of these silver flanged screws. If I can get the angle right anyway. I'll just screw this one in on camera, bear with me. Let's get the angle right, make life a lot easier for everyone. He says. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. And nice and tight and done. You can see there's some give there. That is nice and tight. And that is that protective part all in place. I'm not entirely sure why it's protecting. Time will tell. Um, it's not fully on, actually. So let me just... Oh, I see. Like that. There we go. There it is. So, yeah, not sure what that's protecting. But uh, it's protecting something. That's for sure. Um, and that is it. It has been a heck of a video, this one. Uh, sorry it has been so long, but there has been a lot. Obviously, we've got the start of R2-D2's moving head, and we've got sensors and buttons and doors and all sorts of R2-D2's body. So a really, really good issue. I've loved, loved building it, painting it. I haven't done paint for a while, and love how it's all starting to come together now. Um, I hope that you have loved this video too, and if you have, be sure to join me on Wednesday when the next R2-D2 video is going to be out that's Wednesday, make sure you don't forget that. And then, of course, I'm back on Sunday after the Wednesday, but I'll talk about that on Wednesday. I'm gonna stop saying Wednesday now and leave you to the rest of your Sunday. Have a fantastic week or half a week, and I'll see you next time. So until then, guys, take care, bye-bye.
I just want to thank my patrons. Without you guys, this video would not have been possible and this channel would be dead. So thank you very much.